You know what? Lack of self-confidence is one of the most important factors that can influence your image, your level of satisfaction with your life, and your emotional stability. So, while a lot of people sometimes struggle with feeling a little insecure, not everybody comes out a winner from this fight. In this video, you'll get to know 9 typical signs of emotionally unstable people, according to psychologists. At the heart of this instability often lies self-doubt. Number 1. An overwhelming desire to be popular Of course, a lot of people want to be liked by others. It really just depends on how much someone wants it. If you have a close friend or a group of friends, you're not supposed to feel bad about somebody else being more popular than you. You should feel happy for them. But in the age of the internet and social media, so many people want to be super popular online. And if you're ready to do anything just to get more likes or views, you should try to figure out what's driving you. If your obsession escalates, perhaps you might need to see a therapist to help you determine the root cause of your desire to be popular. Number 2. Doubts about their appearance Believe it or not, even the most attractive people often don't feel the best about their appearance. Yeah, just ask me. And this is totally normal. You can't always be 100% sure that you look perfect all the time. We have off days and bad moods, and there are so many other factors that can influence the way you look. Try to find the best aspects of your appearance and highlight them. This will help you feel way more self-assured. Remember that people who ooze self-confidence don't fool themselves by thinking they're perfect. They know both their best features and their weak points. More importantly, they recognize that everybody has flaws and accept themselves just the way they are. And there's nothing more attractive than self-love. Number 3. Caring about someone else's opinion If you're constantly preoccupied with wondering what other people think about what you do or say, then maybe this tidbit will set your nerves at ease. The thing is that most people are concerned about the same things. Everyone is scared of a negative reaction to their words and actions. People aren't generally all that interested in your appearance and your behavior because they're too caught up in worrying about how others see them. Just ask your co-workers what you were wearing two days ago. Odds are that most of them won't even be able to answer. It's okay to stop fretting about these things and keep living the way you want. Number 4. Their reaction to refusal Now, nobody likes to be refused. But from time to time, you might feel like someone has turned down your ideas on purpose, and these thoughts can appear in your mind even when the other person has nothing against you personally and had no intention of offending you. Getting a negative reaction to your proposals can really hurt your self-esteem, especially if you're already struggling with your self-confidence. Just remember that other people are worried about this too. And sometimes, you might be the person that turns down someone else's ideas. Try to understand how other people feel in these situations, and you'll understand that you're not alone. Number 5. High expectations It's great when a person expects a lot from themselves and actually meets these high standards to achieve big goals. They feel strong, proud, and encouraged to keep on working toward new goals. But this success doesn't happen in the blink of an eye. It awaits at the end of a long and tiring process. So don't count on a quick result. Otherwise, you'll fail and be disappointed in yourself and the world around you. The same goes for holding high standards for others. You can't expect yourself or other people to do the impossible. Even when you've been knocked down a couple of times, never quit something that you've started and be patient with those around you. Number 6. We tend to think that everyone else has it so much better simply from what we see online. But the truth is that enviable photos and posts on social media don't show the real picture of anyone's life. Feeling dissatisfied with routine and with yourself is an all-too-common phenomenon, and it's something that even the happiest people can struggle with. 
These perfect images are specifically chosen to show the best moments of someone's life, not their day-to-day -day norm. If you think about it, you'll notice that there are a lot of people around you who have the exact same problems. So, the truth is that the grass is always greener on the other side, and someone probably thinks your life is perfect too. There are some really effective ways to combat jealousy. To start, stop comparing. As soon as you notice your train of thought is starting to move in that direction, ask yourself, what's in it for me personally? This will help you understand that being jealous will bring you nothing but negativity and a bad mood. Try to distract yourself and switch your attention to something else. And if you're going to make comparisons, compare yourself not with others, but with yourself five years, a year, or a month ago. And dedicate a couple of minutes a day to express gratitude for everything you have and how far you've come. Number 7. Devaluation One more problem is that we're often sure that others can't possibly understand what we're going through. It's just too easy to think that nobody can feel the same feelings. You might sometimes believe that your own worries are more important and your problems are more serious than those of the people around you have. But this doesn't mean that you should ignore those who really want to help and support you. Number 8. Indecisiveness Well, if it takes you a really long time to make a decision, it's a common sign of insecurity. In such situations, you probably often ask for the opinions of people that are important to you. Luckily, it's never too late to learn how to make decisions on your own. There's even a strategy you can use. Write down your fears. Seeing something in writing really puts it in perspective and helps you take this factor into consideration. Think about the worst-case scenario. After imagining the most terrible situation that can happen, you might understand that even the least favorable result won't be as dramatic as you might think. Determine if this decision is temporary or permanent. If the idea of something permanent scares you, then just try a temporary fix. Make a list of all the pros and cons of each alternative you have. Be thorough and precise. Consider all the points you've listed and pretend that the dilemma you're dealing with isn't yours, but a friend's. Imagine what you would advise them. Detaching yourself from your problem really helps speed up the decision-making process. Think about the future. Which alternative is easier for you to imagine as a real possibility? And how does it make you feel? Now, make your choice. But since you're still learning to make your own decisions, you might feel better having a plan B, or C, or D. Better safe than sorry, right? And if you find yourself being asked to help someone make a decision, Try not to impose your point of view on them. Instead, help them understand what they really want. You can even recommend the strategy we just talked about. Number 9. Being possessive of others If you expect your loved ones to come running to help you at the drop of a dime, then you have some really cheap friends. No, no, no. Then you might want to be careful, because this is a road that will get you nowhere. Every person has their own life and desires that are probably different from yours. And this is perfectly normal because they are individuals, not your servants. Next time someone refuses to come rushing to your aid because they simply have their own stuff going on, take action yourself instead of taking offense. Remember, confidence equals emotional balance. A lack of self-confidence can be noticed even in the smallest details. And our life is nothing but a compilation of small instances. So try and change something about yourself to find peace and self-assurance.